Hi Josh. Uh, solve this problem in geometry by Brahmagupta's formula and the bicentric quadrilateral. Suppose ABCD is both cyclic and circumscribe a circle. Show that the area of ABCD is equal to the square root of uh, small smaller case small case lowercase a b c d square root of lowercase a b c d mm. this is my server i was typing mm. this quadrilateral is known as a bicentric quadrilateral it means it both has a circumcenter and the uh, in center. It, it means it has both. Put it here. And then maybe some. It has both. What? Mm. Both. Uh, the, the end Cent circumcenter and <coughs> in center okay or circumcircle and in center in circle yes so i will show how to construct one okay. it's very simple any point of it this being okay, right? yes point oops I need it open point point okay we have a circle any segment mm, let's see from this one so it will be to the circle it's not, not too skewed so that the, the, the figure will be more balanced yes okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. What is this one? We only did the one. Then we move this over here. A little there. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Another segment that is supposed to be perpendicular. Anything perpendicular. Uh, to make it look normal. Somewhere here. Oops. Uh, this one. The circle. The point here, intersection of this perpendicular line and the circle. Now I will show hide label, hide labels of this. Label the perpendicular. What? Uh, I don't yeah. know how to. Line. Uh -huh. Can you write? Hmm. Okay. segment again because in actually you can just do the segment erase of everything else but then in GeoGebra I don't so I will just hide this and okay so now move out tangents from this point to the circle this point to the circle, this point to the circle. Oops. <laughs> this point to the circle. Uh, where's tangents? Tangents, this point to the circle, this point to the circle. Okay. Uh, points in these intersections. Oops. There. And then now we will hide these objects. Uh, which is not embedded.
hide all of the lines. So we have now constructed uh, a, a, a quadrilateral that has an in circle that is called the tangential uh, quadrilateral. We now show hide label. I will now construct the circle center. I circle circle. So perpendicular bisector any two. And also another fun fact is that they will all they will of a tangential polygon they will all intersect at the circle center. But anyway, we only need two. It will clutter up too much when I will hide them. So point. That is our center. Hide. Label. Uh huh. Compass. I could just use the circle and eyeball it, but I will use the compass. So, the segment here, here. This is the radius. Compass versus compass. Mm -hmm. This line and the center. Nice. And now, hide, hide, hide. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yes, and this nice. is our mm, bicentric or uh, bicentric quadrilateral. Easy construction. Let me just uh, enlarge it that everything is visible. So, which is, which is your circumcenter there, and then your in, in center? I don't really need the Yeah, just to demonstrate it's a bicentric. Circle. Ah, wait. Show hide object. This is the in center. Leave them. There. Yes. So, can you label? A, B, C, D? Why? Or, ah, you can transport it? No. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm going to so do something else. But do you still need something? Or can we. We need a grid. I will, first of all, open these ones. And then, give them their labels. I mean, they're not correct, but I will change them. Huh? Mm. Let this be I. Will be something maybe uh -huh. D okay so the A B C D A, B, C. ah did I not say bro sad. Of the in circle. What's the, what is the common uh, in circle center? I forgot. Maybe O. Oops. Zero. Okay. O. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good figure. Can you transport it to our jump board? Mm. Anyway, this will not be the figure I will use yes. because I will remove the circumcent circle. We are not. This is not needed. Okay. Okay. So first of all, the note. Uh, this circle cyclic. is. Uh, um, uh, this circle is uh, cyclic. Yes. And it is uh, the. It has. If I expand it. It has an uh, inscribed circle, so these are all tangents. So let's start the. Okay, can you wait? Can you take take a screenshot so we can? Oh, wait, no, I will remove this first. I will just put it back. No, it's okay. Yeah. 
remove the video for F11. Okay, good. Lock. Okay. It's being recorded. In chat. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, I, put, I place back the You can next. go to, if you want. You can go to the next. Page. Now I will have to hide this. Uh, unnecessary points. Uh, so I do the... What? What happened? Mm, open this one. Hide the labels. And then hide this one as well. It's the most important part. If it were not cyclic, it just had if it just had a inscribed circle, it would be called a tangential quadrilateral. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I intended to label it. Yes. Uh, this uh, the pen. Oh. But just use the pen for the label, so it's, it's more clear. It's more clear. D and this is. Oops. These are the points of tangency. Okay, so. And the names should be. Where's the label? This one? This one's called. ESGH. Cyclic manner. Just transport and then label with a. The pen will be better. So that the shape is more for the. Okay, so we have points E, F, G, H as the points of tangency between the quadrilateral itself and its in, in, in circle so and where are the lowercase a b c d oh okay so first of all uh, it's are rather arbitrary because uh there is no opposite point on the quadrilateral okay so i will just set this most seemingly opposite point of a a b b Wait, I'll just move the A a little backwards. B, B, C. Well, C already assigned to it, so C here. And then B. Mm -hmm. Little bracket. Okay, now I will label these lengths as expand E. And each. Okay, now by the tangent tangent theorem, the tangent ta tangent theorem states that if there is if there is a circle with so right. uh, right block by tangent tangent everything depends on where is it mm -hmm. circle. 
looks circle enough and there is there are two tangents that originate that originate from the same point maybe it's safer to start from this one These two lengths are equal. And this is the tangent tangent theorem. Right now. And the other T should be a good piece. These two tangent segments are equal in measure and length. Okay, now I will use it extensively here. I'll use a different color. AF is tangent. And the origin is from A, same with AE, so this is equal. So therefore, this is E. E. Uh -huh. uh, F, E, uh, I mean BG, which is F, is a tangent and it originates from B. BF is also a tangent that originates from B. So therefore, this is equal and this is F. Yes. Maybe I should also add the brackets. The G, which is CH, it's a tangent, originates from C. CG, it's also a tangent, originates from C, so therefore they are equal. And of course, this is H, which is DE, it's a tangent, originates from D. And DH is also a tangent, originates from D. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, they are congruent, and this is H. Yes. So, the, the, mm. the, it's cyclicity, it, uh, I know the word, anyway, it's, it's cyclicity states, uh, it means that we have, uh, Brahma Guptas. Formula. It is a special case of Brett Schneider's formula, which is applicable to every single quadrilateral. But this applies only for cyclic quadrilaterals. It's Brahmagupta's formula. It goes like the area of ABCD with arbitrary ABCD, like I picked earlier. arbitrary length names unlike in triangles what is this where s is equal to the semi perimeter or half of the perimeter a plus B plus C plus D over 2. Okay, so now, uh, obvious conclusions are A is equal to G plus H. B is equal to E plus H. C is equal to E plus F. And... D is equal to F plus G. So our S here is equal to A plus B plus C plus D, G plus H plus E plus H. Plus E plus F plus F plus G. I will just transfer this to the next page. Mm. 
combining like terms of course is 2e plus 2f plus 2g plus 2h over 2 so this is equal to e plus f plus g plus h oh yeah that's the semi pretty here easy. we'll go back here a plus b plus c plus d the area of that's the uh, yeah. equal to this formula Ramagupta's formula Ramagupta's formula provides us a formula where which we can use to find the area of a cyclic quadrilateral yes so now we can substitute it is equal to uh, I will just use parentheses to the one to the one uh, to the half power because square root is uh, rather hard to write properly or I can just use the line tool okay makes sense so square root s which is now known to be e plus f plus g plus h maybe i will put this here a plus h g okay this is necessary mm. go higher a little higher a little higher mm. uh, windows So it will be easy to check E plus F plus B G plus H minus G plus H multiplied by E plus F plus G plus H minus E plus H times plus F plus B plus H minus F multiplied by E plus F plus G plus H minus F plus G <laughs> Now, I will just make this uh, much bigger. There, now it's clear. So, therefore, ABCD is equal to the square root of uh, cancel, cancel. Yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. Plus F times. Oh, plus. Uh, I mean times. times F plus G so therefore this is a uh, QED already yes we have proven yes nice yes nice solution uh, thanks, for, thanks watching. for watching